Hi everybody, welcome to Catherine Sewings. Today I want to give you a super fast tip on how to make your seams nice and beautifully smooth when you're working with a satiny fabric. If you've worked with satin before, you might have noticed that your lengthwise seams look dimpled and puckery no matter what you do, no matter what stitch length or how you press it, they're just always going to look dimpled and puckery. If you're making a satin blouse, the lengthwise seams on the inside here and the side seam, they don't really show, so it doesn't really matter that much. But if you're doing a satiny skirt or dress with long vertical seams, then before you even cut, you need this tip. I've sewn together three samples so that you can see the difference it makes when you cut satiny fabrics on the cross grain. So here I've got two pieces sewn together and this, they are cut on the lengthwise grain. You can see that that seam looks really puckery. You can see the selvage here, it's parallel to my seam so you know that this is the one that I cut on the lengthwise grain. And you can see that it all, it just doesn't look beautiful. And even if I press it, I haven't surged or done French seams or any nice seam finishing because I just wanted to do a super fast tip for you just to show you the difference that cutting on the cross grain makes. So there it is, it's pressed and that helps, doesn't it? That helps a bit, but if I'm wearing a satin skirt, I wanna do better than that. And really nothing I do is gonna make it look any better than that. That is as good as it's gonna get on the lengthwise grain. If you turn your pattern pieces sideways so the grain line is going perpendicular to the selvage, so you're cutting on the crosswise grain, this is what you get. So on this sample, here you can see that the selvage is at the top, perpendicular to the seam, so you know that this one is on the cross grain. And look at that, oh my heavens, it's just, it just glows, it's so perfect and beautiful. It's perfection, it's just beautiful. Now I just wanna show you one last little sample. I took a skinny strip of lengthwise grain. This side is on the lengthwise grain. This side, there's a little bit of selvage at the top that you can see that's on the crosswise grain. And look even the difference here. This side is on the crosswise grain, there's the selvage. And this side is just laying perfect and beautiful where the other side is showing just those little dimples. So you can see even on this little skinny piece, the crosswise side with the selvage at the top there, hanging just beautiful and perfect. And the lengthwise grain is just still showing all those dimples. Anytime you're cutting something where the vertical seams are gonna show on a satiny fabric, turn it onto the crosswise grain, your seams will just look beautiful and perfect, and you'll be much happier with your final product. So that's just a quick tip for today. And I'll see you next time on Catherine Sews. Thanks so much for joining me. You take care.